Hi YouTube, uh, my name is Misha, and I go by Sparrowlight1 on YouTube, and this is my very first video. I have been entertained and inspired by videos for years, by my favorite vloggers or just YouTube posters like Sebastian the Girl and Graveyard Girl, and um, a whole a whole host of others. But it has taken me an extremely long time to finally actually make some myself and kind of make my account of use to other people than me. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, I'd like this um, channel to kind of start out, start out as a bit of a travel vlog because in a week and a half I'm going to be flying to Italy Mondavio specifically, where I'm going to be part of a month-long opera workshop. I'm going to be taking a lot of... I'm probably talking too fast. I'm going to be taking a lot of Italian classes, Italian diction classes, um, and studying a lot of Italian opera repertoire. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be students from all over the U.S., and we spend a whole month together, and then come home for the fall semester um, of college with a lot more experience, hopefully some language credits for school, and um, just a lot more than we used to be, so it's going to be really, really fun. And what I've been doing today, specifically, besides, you know, being lazy, which is one of my favorite things to do, not, to do. not favorite things, but I'm a really, really bad procrastinator, so... Yeah, I don't have I don't have my music memorized yet. I have to have it memorized by the time I go and it's kind of scary. So to help me not be so anxious, I'm procrastinating some more and making a video. So here we go. Um Before I made this video I wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about, because I kind of wanted to talk about everything because I haven't made any videos yet. But and yes, I need to do something about this because it's really annoying. Um, I thought maybe I'd just show you some of my favorite stuff, old stuff, new stuff, stuff like that. And maybe that can help set a tone for what I'm like and what this channel may be like. I probably set something already because I ramble. Anyway, let's see. Oh, my carry-on. I'm going to be using my new backpack as my carry-on on the plane. And I'm going to try to stuff my purse in it so I can also have a laptop case. Um, anyway, I got this particular backpack. Oh, it's not zipped up. Some of you may recognize the pattern or the label. It's a yak pack. Yak pack! Right there. Which is fairly popular with college students. I mean, it's not James Port or one of those other, like, hefty, hefty backpacks, but it comes in a zillion different patterns and colors, and I found this one before I knew really what yak packs were specifically. It was just the cheapest, nicest um, backpack with a cool pattern that I could find at Hastings. The other backpack I looked at was this purple fake leather round one with big spikes sticking out of it, and it was like... 60 or 70 dollars and it didn't even look that expensively made it just was itself and it was really cool but I'm not gonna spend that much on a backpack this one was only about 20 bucks so and it's the simple student basic yak pack backpack so um, one of the things I can't put in there unfortunately because it's um, well, I guess technically I could, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to get one of those little... I don't know if you've heard of those, probably. It's a little travel thing for perfumes, because there's a perfume I'm going to talk about in Eau de Toilette. It's about this big, and you just squirt your perfume in there, and then you can take whatever perfume, no matter how big a bottle you got, wherever you are going. So, one of the perfumes I'm taking, though, and I just... This just arrived in the mail... I think yesterday or the day before, but I've been really looking forward to getting it, 
is this stuff. I don't have a lid because I ordered a tester because it was a lot less expensive than the regular full size here. It's called Bulgari Black. And um, I know part of the reason why I bought this and spent like 30 30 three dollars not including shipping for 2.5 ounces of yellow juice is because Katie Puckrick, my favorite um, perfume reviewer, talked about this and she wears it a lot and we share similar tastes for incenses and darker perfumes and unisex perfumes or just women wearing men's fragrances because they want to and if you, I don't know if you can see it says Bulgari on it, except um, for Bulgari, which is an Italian company, they always put a V instead of a U, so it looks like Roman lettering or something. Anyway, I really like it. Um, it's supposed to smell like rubber or car exhaust or something with vanilla, but I just think it smells like spicy leather and powder and musk and really, really good. I like it a lot. Um, it wasn't quite what I expected it to smell like, but then again, I'd never smelled it before, so I didn't know what it was going to smell like anyway. And, but it's going to be my my signature smell over there. It's going to smell like a hockey puck, a very good smelling hockey puck. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to bring my jewelry. Let's see, this is, these are all from Goodwill. They're super cheap. Two dollar stringy thing and this little thing, but um, I love shopping at Goodwill and thrift stores like that because even though you probably can't tell because I shop a lot, I don't have a very big budget. So that's why those things and a five dollar watch. Why? I don't know. Because it was cool and because I needed a watch. But anyway, let's see. What else to show you guys? Um, ooh, speaking of thrift shopping, I went to the DAV a couple days ago. I don't know if everyone knows what the DAV is. It's um, a thrift store that benefits veterans. Veterans. And in Prescott, Arizona, where I usually am, do not stalk me. Um, <laughs> uh, the DAV is the least expensive thrift store there is. I mean, they, they sell shirts for like 25 cents. It's insane. And I found this lovely little thing in a box of purses, just random purses and crap for a dollar up. And it looks like this. Um, it's hard for me to read the brand on it. I think it's Monet. And I don't know if the leather is real, but it feels real. And it has a weight to it. And it has these little fastenings on there and a belt buckle and it has this wide top that comes up and then you can stick lots and lots of stuff in there. So I got this for my trip. I think it's going to be really good to um, just carry a bunch of things in when I need, need to. You can probably put a water bottle in there which is good because um, being a singer you really really need to keep hydrated. I'm kind of hydrated right now. I don't know. It's the atmosphere has not been good in Prescott since there's um, an, a really large fire burning in Crown King, uh, which is south of here, I believe. It's a huge fire. It's like fifteen thousand acres, and it's like twenty percent contained or something. I don't have all my facts straight. I know some people know a lot more about this than me, and I'll just take it as I don't know anything about it. I'm not trying to spread misinformation. I'm just imprecise. Um, and then, um, I don't know, my regular accoutrement, my engagement ring. I'm engaged. Yay! I have been for a few months. Um, it's really cool. My parents won't recognize it, though, because they expect my fiancé to get on one knee and ask them for permission for marriage, which isn't going to happen. <laughs> don't tell anybody. And then... My other thing I really like to wear is my scully ring from, whoop, sorry guys, if I just made anybody puke, sorry. It looks like this. Um, I got it from Spencer's for 20 bucks. I've heard sometime, some people say that Spencer's jewelry isn't good. The the actual metal part of this is really good. It hasn't, it hasn't worn, it hasn't um, 
turned green or anything. The only thing is his little eyeballs used to be um, like a little bitty black gem in each eye. And those fell out and that made me sad, but it's still really, really cool. I like it. I get a lot of flack for wearing it, but I don't care. And uh, that's about my, my favorites for right now. Probably have some more videos up pretty soon if anybody cares to see them. But anyway, um, love and kisses.